I uh, have a car, and uh, I'm not bragging or anything, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, I got, it's got four wheels. What's up? Um, and my car, as will happen, was having some serious problems. It was at the mechanic. I had to take the bus around L.A. like a few places. And yeah, exact. People in LA are so arrogant and judgmental about taking the bus. Seriously, it's like in most cities, it's a form of transportation. In LA, it's a disease. <laughs> a serious one too. Like, hey man, you hear about Rick? I heard he caught the bus. No way, dude. That's horrible. How did he catch it? <laughs> you think he's gonna live? Are you going to go see him? No, wait, I'm not going near him. I don't want to get some This shit's contagious, and there's no vaccine. Man, sometimes I get life advice uh, from rich people, and it's so cute how they think I can use it. You know? <laughs> oh, if only. If only. It's like, hey, man, uh, you should fly first class. Yeah, yeah, that's 1500 bucks, but it's worth it. Dude, what? If it was an option, I would go in the overhead bin. Get a free glass of champagne. I'll have a beer and a Xanax in the terminal. I'm good, bro. And I love food, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, and they tell me about their restaurants. You know, like, hey man, have you tried to smoke duck at Bestia? The only way I'm having duck is if I catch one down the park. <laughs> Last time it rained, I had escargot. Oh. Thank you. We have the French section over here. Classy. I like it. And uh, these days, man, rich people love to tell you about their kids' private schools that cost like 40 grand. You know? Your kid is not going to stand out at that school. Seriously. My kid goes to public school. He spells pterodactyl. He's class president. <laughs> I was, uh, I, was, I was going with Jim, and um, I know I don't have to tell you guys that. <laughs> you don't get this from telling jokes, people, seriously. I mean, the mic doesn't weigh that much, you know? But here's what I didn't like about the gym. It was an okay chain, whatever. I just didn't like the locker room scene, man. There was way too many dudes just, just prancing around half naked in the locker room who were like totally ripped and shredded. You know those guys, right? They're like human anatomy charts. There's like pectoralis, oblique, transverse abdominis, where I look like a grocery shelf. It's like bagels, tortilla chips, ice cream. Kind of makes me sad. And that's why I love hiking. I love like stuff that's solo, man. It's off the grid. <laughs> Nobody knows where or what time I started or how long I was sitting on a bench. <laughs> You're never going to find out. <laughs> so different. Hiking is nothing like the gym. No dude never walks up to me on the trail like, Hey bro, want to do some pointers on your hike? <laughs> and where's the full length mirror around here? Like, get off the mountain. <laughs> it's like, and the statistical measure of hiking is so different. Because no one knows what it is, right? It's like, hey, I shot a 72, 300 bar. I benched 285. Me? I saw five butterflies. <laughs> and a baby garden snake. Analyze those stats, bro. I, I was like thinking about trying to lose a few pounds, and um, people talk to me about intermittent fasting, right? Everybody knows someone or whatever's tried intermittent fasting. That's who you only eat in a six hour window every day. And I want to know, what do you do the other 18 hours in a day? Seriously, what do you hook up to, an opium drip? Like humans are meant to eat all the time. I know it, they sell snacks at Home Depot. 